Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to discuss the differences between subarray, subsequence, and subset. As part of a coding interview problem, especially when the data structure is an array, you may come across these terminologies. So let's take an input array. The array is an integer array starting from 1 to 10. I have intentionally kept the array as sorted so that the differences are more clear to us. In all the three cases, either it is subarray, subsequence, or subset. We are uh, we are talking about a part of the original array. It means that subarray will have elements from this array only. Subsequence will also have elements from this array. This array and subset also has elements from this array. If a collection is having elements which is not present in the original collection, then that collection is neither subarray nor subset nor nor subsequence. So if I have an array that has let's say seventeen. So that array is not subarray, that array is not subsequence, that array is not a subset of this array. So this thing should be clear first that uh, when we say that a particular array is a subarray of other array or a subsequence of the other array or a subset of the array, other array, it means that all the elements in that array are part of the original array. So let's discuss subarray, subsequence and subset one, one by one. An array is said to be subarray of the other array when all the elements in this array appears continuously in the original array. So 4, 5, 6, 7. This is subarray of the original array because all the four elements, 4, 5, 6, 7, they appear as it is in the original array. So it is like you know you are cutting a chunk of the original array and that becomes the subarray. So 4, after 4 we have 5, we have 6, we have 7 in the original array and as well as in the subarray. Similarly 3 is subarray. So single element is also subarray. Similarly empty array is also subarray of, empty array is essentially subarray of all the arrays. And the array itself may also be considered as subarray of the original array. 4, 6, 7 is not the subarray of the original array. Notice that all the elements 4, 6 and 7, they are present in the original array but they are not next to each other. So four of, between 4 and 6, we have seven. We have 5. So that's why 4, 6, 7 is not the uh, subarray of the original array. Similarly, 5 and 4 is not the subarray. So 5, 4, they are appearing next to each other, both in the subarray as well as in the uh, original array. But the order in which they are appearing in the original array and subarray is not same. So the elements have to be contiguous and the elements has to be appearing in the same order in the original array and the subarray for the array to be subarray. Now if there are n elements in the original array then total number of subarrays possible will be n into n plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1. So total number of non-empty subarrays is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. You can think of it like this that subarrays starting from 1 there will be 10 subarrays which are starting from 1. First subarray is which have only one. Second subarray is which has one and two. Third subarray has one, two, and three. Fourth subarray has one, two, three, four, and so on. Similarly, there are nine subarrays which are starting from two. Two, two, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, four, five, and so on. Similarly, there are eight elements, eight subarrays which which there can be eight subarrays which are starting from three. Similarly, there can be seven subarrays which are starting from four and so on. So the total number of subarrays will come out to be summation of uh, n which is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. In this case we are not considering one subarray which is empty subarray. So this is number of non-empty subarrays. Now let's come to subsequence. Elements in the subsequence appears in the same order as they appear in the original array. The only difference is that they may not be contiguous. So for example if we have the original array as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 then 4, 5, 6, 7. This is the subsequence. This is also a subarray, but this is also a subsequence of the original array. 4, 5, 6, and 7, they appear in the same order in the subsequence as they appear in the original array. 4, 6, and 7. This is not the subarray, but this is a subsequence of the original array. Because 4, 6, and 7, they appear in the same order here as they appear in the original array. In the original array, 4 comes first, then 6 comes, then 7 comes. There may be more elements between 4 and 6 and between 6 and 7. But the relative order of these three elements is the same in the subsequence as well as in the original array. Similarly, 1, 9, 10. 
this is also a subsequence of the original array because 1 9 and 10 their relative order is same in the original array as they are appearing here 5 and 4 this is not a subsequence because the relative order of 5 and 4 is different in the original array in the original array 4 is coming first then 5 but in this subsequence in this sub array in this array 5 is coming before 4 similarly 1 4 7 3 it is not a subsequence of the original array here one up to 147 this is a subsequence but because 3 appears between 1 and 4 in the original array and here it is appearing at the end so that's why 1473 is not a subsequence of the original array i can say that all the subarrays are also subsequences but a subsequence may or may not be subarray of the original array total number of subsequences if i have an array of n elements then total number of subsequences will be 2 raised to the power n total number of non empty subsequences will be 2 raised to power n minus 1 you can think of it like this that at each element we have two choices either we can include that element or we can exclude that element so at each element we are having two ways to go at each element we have two options so the total number of options that we have uh, in terms of number of subsequences will be 2 raised to the power n now let's come to the subset in case of subset the element should be part of the original array they may or may not be contiguous their order may not be same may or may not be same just that they should belong to the original array let's take an example 4 6 and 7 this is also a subsequence but this is also a subset because 4 6 and 7 all three of them belongs to the main array similarly 5 and 4 both 5 and 4 belongs to the main array right they may or may not be contiguous their order may not be same but as long as they belong to the main array it, it, this this will be subset similarly 1473 is also subset of the original array so a, an array is not a subset of another array only when that array has elements which are not present in the original array at all for example 15 and 4 15 is not present in the original array similarly 117 and 3 so 17 is not present in the original array now i leave you with three questions write three functions first function should print all the sub arrays for a given array second function should print all the subsequences for the given array and third function should print all the subsets for the given array so you are given the array as parameter and the first function will print all the sub arrays for that array second function will print all the subsequences for that array and the third function should print all the subsets of that array i will be providing the solution of these three questions in few days if you want to get notified when, whenever the solution is uploaded on the youtube please subscribe to our channel thank you